Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here and we're back for another shave. Uh, you might hear me clearing my throat a <clears throat> couple of times during the shave. We ended up with the winds again here in Southern California. What it does is the Santa Ana wind condition. So it takes all the smog, all the smoke, all the bad air from Utah all the way through Arizona and, or down to California and then whoosh, right out in here in Southern California out to the coast where all the smog and everything sets. So, <clears throat> it's tripped up my allergies again. Three weeks after getting better from that cold, but I can deal with that, I took a Benadryl. So, we're gonna be doing uh, several new products in this video today, and I'm kind of excited about it. And I am, I did have another mail call today, so coming soon, I haven't forgot about you, Sheldon, from Global Shave Club, we have the uh, Repla Speed, which is a twist to open uh, razor, a replica from Global Shave Club. I'll probably do this or the Schwarzkowski, or the Schwarzkowski, whatever, the uh, crystal razor that came from Global Shave Club. I'm tongue tied, I'm on a Benadryl. <laughs> what do you expect? <clears throat> All right, they had a meetup in Los Angeles last weekend, and I was invited and I was planning on going, but uh, my very good friend from high school, who I've known, God, 40 years, or, well, since 1977, uh, was moving. He got married to a lady from Greece named Mauro, my friend Jim, and uh, this weekend he actually moved permanently to Greece uh, by Athens, so, uh, that I seen, I went on Google Earth and I looked at the the location and man, you've got the uh, you got you got those islands, those Greek islands, very close. You've got the Aegean Sea right there, man. So I missed the meetup in Los Angeles, <clears throat> but Rick Kent and Abraham, a couple of cool dudes, they sent me the soap that was uh, from the meetup from Oleo uh, Soap Company, Oleo and Company, and. Uh, Actually, uh, I guess the SoCal Wet Shavers Collective put it together. They met at Lala's Grill, and it's uh, Kaoba. And it's got a pretty, pretty nice scent. I'm going to uh, I'll put the scent profile in the video so you can uh, read exactly what it is. In fact, all the products today, I I put a little link from their each of their websites into the video or into this video description so you can see about it. So I'm going to be using that soap today from London, England, from the UK, the Broman Safety Razor. This came by request, and I was working with, uh, I think it's the director of Broman, uh, Dan, uh, because if you ordered online, uh, <laughs> shipping to the United States, it wouldn't do. So I ended up uh, contacting Dan, Dan, and they said uh, they liked the channel. And uh, I said, hey, I want to buy one of these and give it a go. And he actually gave me a discount on the price. So I do appreciate that, Dan. And he shipped to the United States. So I do hope that uh, they are shipping to the United States now. I know they ship all over Europe. And it was, uh, I guess it's a relatively new company. But let me show you the razor. Uh, one second, I'm going to show you the razor. And I'm going to be doing some pre-shave from Pete and Pedro. Pre-shave oil today. Uh, one of the viewers, Aiden, sent me this. Uh, it comes very highly recommended and requested, so I'm gonna be using some pre-shave oil today, and I kinda of need it, my skin is dry. I'll be using the uh, Ken Surf's Winter 2019 brush, which I'm gonna be putting in the Crystal Skull right now, the synthetic version, and it is definitely winter here in California. That wind is cold, but I know a lot of you are saying, man, it's sub-zero where I'm at, so maybe we're spoiled, but, <clears throat> Those winds bring smog and dust and just everything out here. My favorite aftershave, one of maybe three, well-used Calvin Klein Eternity. We'll be using that today. All right. All right. So the Broman Razor comes in a nice box. I set the box over here. Leather case. Comes with a stand. Some instructions. The stand actually opens up. Let me see here, I don't want to spill everything. There we go. Opens up 
and you have your blades that come with it. And I forget what these were, Persona or Pole Silver, but I'm gonna use a blade I'm familiar with. The razor actually sits in the stand. This is uh, very similar to a couple of the other razors I've been uh, previewing lately. It's got a pivoting head. It uh, loads up right like this. You flip the lever open. You put your half, half DE blade in there. So what you do, so I'm gonna use a, might as well hold it up. One of my favorite blades, I've said it many times, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette from India, the Saloon Pack. It's very easy. Kind of like the leaf razor to load. You just take your blade, leave it in the package. You fold it in half, like that with your fingers. You'll hear it crack. There you go. You open it up. Carefully, you take your blade, the one you broke. You set it right here on the top. Let me see if I can do this on camera. Right there on top, close the lid. And she lines up like that. So you can get twice the use out of that DE blade. So <clears throat> I like this because it gives you the choice of all the blades that you want to use. And it's a really nice handle, it's all metal. It's a metal head except for the cap, which appears to be a plastic or a polymer. But uh, very easy to use, and it's got a nice spring action there. So we're going to try that. I wet my face a little. Put on some pre-shave oil. You see me use pre-shave uh, cream like the Parasso, and I, I do use the oil. I just put a little on my hand. And my screen is very, very, very dry because of these winds. <clears throat> my throat's dry too. <laughs> Got a nice unscented smell to it. I can still tell it's on. And that's gonna help with the whiskers. All right. I always lose the cap. I just took the cap off. <laughs> ah, I'm going to put the cap back on. I'm going to set this aside because I always lose the caps on them for some reason. All right. I'm going to use the soap. I was going to use it in the Ken Sir shave mug, but uh, I'm going to put it right out of this container here because it's shallow enough. <clears throat> I told you I'm going to be clearing my throat. And I took a Benadryl. So I'm hoping that kicks in soon, because man, it feels like I got feathers in my throat. And <clears throat> but it's much worse than having the flu. Good game. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. You stomped the uh, San Francisco 49ers. And uh, one of the Chiefs fans came up, apologized. Well, sorry for you, man. I go, hey, good game. You know, you guys won. Way to go. And it kind of shocks people. It's the way I figure it. In any contest, whether you win or lose, eh, move on. You know, my team lost. Eh, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to be uh, complaining about the Kansas City Chiefs for the next year. <clears throat> or the Houston Astros. Oops. <laughs> Very nice scent. Again, scent profile right here. And I'll put it in the uh, description. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Thick, slick, soap. I had a request today to do some traditional William soap, and I have some. So I will be doing that. And Mitchell's Wool Fat ordered some from West Coast Shaving. So 
your requests. I'm, I'm getting there. <clears throat> All right. All right. A lot of you guys, you know, shave your head and this would probably be the way to go. I can tell by the uh, mildness of this razor that I could probably put a feather in. I went with the mild Wilkinson sword. I can tell it's uh, not aggressive at all. In fact, I can even put some force on it. <clears throat> I looked. I didn't see any of you guys' uh, videos on this. I saw their company. Roman actually has a uh, company video on it, but I haven't seen the usual crew demoing this. Yeah, it's definitely mild, which is a good thing. Oh man, yeah, I could put a feather in here. I am forcing this. See this? Which I would not do with a safety razor usually. <clears throat> not clogging. Man, I put that soap on thick, too. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like a feather in my throat. I'm waiting to start that coughing. Usually happens at a meeting at work. I'm sitting there minding my own business. You have to have a water with you, man. Then all of a sudden, they'll ask you a question. You'll start to talk. <coughs> and your eyes water. And you have to leave the room. Are you all right? Yeah. Just embarrassed. <clears throat> all right. There's the dog out there. Oh, wristwatch check. Omega Seamaster again. I had the Seiko on over the weekend. The Arnie really enjoy that. Damn, you can really push this razor into your skin. At least I can. Doesn't mean you won't cut yourself. Dan, you got a good product. I don't work for the company, and I bought that. I got some new soaps coming the way. <clears throat> the soap is super slick. You're going click, 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 click. And I like that. I wouldn't even push this hard with a cartridge razor. Got me here. Usual spot. kicking in. In 
I've told you this story before about eternity. So forgive me if you've already heard it, but uh, I got the uh, aftershave and the cologne, similar to these two, back in the 80s. And up at Lake Tahoe, it's a beautiful lake up in uh, Central California and borders Nevada, uh, they used to film Bonanza up there. Uh, the TV show Bonanza, Lauren Green, and uh, they actually have uh, the Ponderosa Ranch. They had the Ponderosa Ranch up there. And it was like the movie set. You could go on the tour. And I had this on. <clears throat> it was a good-looking tour, uh, tour guide, good-looking lady, young lady. I was probably 27. My wife was like 20. A tour guide was about 23, and she stopped in the middle of the tour and said, somebody out there is wearing an uh, eternity. I love that. Who is it? Go, she goes, comes over and smells me. Well, that did it for me. I was not only in trouble, but it became my uh, favorite cologne and aftershave. And it does burn super good. Mm. <sighs> Going to have to hit some of this. Whoa, which burns again. All right. So. Nice soap. Thanks again, uh, Rick and Abraham, for sending me this. I'll put links to the sites in, in the description here. Thanks, Dan, for giving me a good shipping deal and a good deal on this razor. Very nice. I almost guarantee my wife and daughter are going to see this because they they use the, they swipe the leaf from me and they break their blades and they put them in. So uh got to keep my eye on this. I do like the stand. And I like the fact you can break the blades and you have them in the stand. So there we go. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> Thanks for bearing with my uh, clearing the throat. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Looking forward to trying that Global Shave Club razors. Coming up next time. All right, bye for now.